Katniss has strong and independent survivalist instincts due to her difficult past and is good at thinking outside the box. She is not socially adept and has a hard time making friends due to the emotional strain on her life, which has made her hard and cold. She is more concerned about feeding her family than being social, making her awkward around people. Though Katniss can be rather blunt, misanthropic, and sarcastic, bitingly cynical and cold, she has a very vulnerable side which she only shows around her family, and she has a natural maternal instinct as showed when she comforted Prim and helped Rue. She is not very good at acting for the camera and comes across best when she is herself. She is usually very logical except for times when her emotions get in the way. Katniss has a habit of biting her nails when she is nervous or anxious and must consciously stop herself from doing so when around others. After she became a victor, she could not think of a good reason to break the habit. However, after joining the rebellion, she appears to have stopped biting her nails as she does not mention doing so. Katniss is very strong, stubborn, and determined. Often she will react first and ask questions later. She will do anything to survive. Even when she is allied with Rue, she said she hoped that she didn't have to be one, the one to kill her. Yet when it came to Peta, she tried her best to figure a way for them both to survive. This independent streak did not go well in the regimented confines of District 13, and Katniss largely did what she wanted and ignored her daily schedule. She had to discipline herself to undergo military training in order to prove that she could be sent into combat, and her unwillingness to take orders was perceived as her greatest weakness. This was targeted during her individual exam, but she was able to realize this and passes. Even though she can sometimes be a bit self-centered and self-reliant, she does have noble traits, protecting those she loves. For example, caring for Prim, looking out for Rue, and ending Cato's life mercifully even though he caused her so much pain, or when she shields Gale to keep him from being whipped, even when it means a lash for herself. Katniss has an instinct pr to protect those who are weak, such as Rue, Oiris, and her prep team. Unlike her younger sister, she is not a natural-born healer. She once ran from the house in fright while Prim and her mother cared for a dying man. She even had trouble healing Peta, being squeamish and reluctant to care for him unclothed. Instead, she is more like her father, being skilled at hunting and gathering. Nevertheless, she was a fiercely determined and resourceful fighter and was reasonably easy to underestimate. She was always, almost always, in disagreement with authority figures and liked to use her own resources when it came to survival. Katniss was loyal to no one and had issues when it came to trusting others, but this grew to be one of her greatest strengths. In Mockingjay, it is shown that Katniss dislikes being a pawn 
and hates having the weight of Pan Am on her shoulders. Katniss is confirmed to suffer from a borderline personality disorder, exhibiting the following traits. Mood swings, an intense fear of abandonment, and emotional episodes that can make her violent and dangerous. Skills Katniss is a highly skilled archer and hunter, which she learned from her father. After meeting Gal, she added fishing and trapping to her skills. This is shown when she was making snares in the training center, watching the training of the career tri tributes, including Cato using sword, Glimmer using bow and arrows, and Marvel using and throwing spears. She also had to educate herself on the edible, medicinal, and poisonous plant life of District, District 12. Hunting and gathering on a daily basis has given her a highly skilled sense of woodcraft. In prejudging, she scored the highest mark out of all tributes, which was an 11. In the second movie, she demonstrated exceptionally lethality, exceptional lethality during her combat simulation, which all the other tributes watched in awe. She did not use her bow, however, during the judging process. Instead, she made a fake dummy which was hung by neck, which on the chest was written, Seneca Crane. Seneca was the previous head game maker who was killed for allowing Cadmus and Peta to live after the Nightlock Berry incident. She has some experience with wielding and throwing a knife in order to finish off a wounded prey animal. During practice sessions, she found that she was also a reasonably good spear thrower, indicating she has skill with most, if not all, projectile weapons. Before the third quarter quell, Peta trains Katniss hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, making her an exceptional opponent. She is also trained further while living in District 13. Later in District 13, she belatedly undergoes military training in order to participate in the fighting against the capital and gains enough proficiency with a gun to be selected for a sharpshooter unit, Squad 451. Katniss is a skilled tree climber and a fast runner, which has benefited her in hunting and the games. Additionally, she has a good singing voice, also inherited from her father, although she was a reluctant she was reluctant to sing since his death. She had good reflexes, mainly when carrying a bow. She could draw an arrow and strike several targets with a good amount of speed and flexibility. She uses her reflexes several times throughout the trilogy. When escaping the cornucopia bloodbath in the 74th Hunger Games, evading fireballs when the game makers create a forest inferno to draw the tributes together, when she ran from the wolf mutts, fighting Cato atop the cornucopia, escaping the monkey mutts during the third quarter quell, and then diverting her aim at the end of the book to assassinate President Coyne. Possessions Katniss received a gold Mockingjay pin which was given to her by her friend, Madge Undersea. After she wins the games, it becomes a symbol of rebellion for the districts against the capital and a symbol of Katniss herself, as her actions were never meant to exist. However, 
Many ignorant capital citizens still use it as a symbol of fashion, as a remembrance of Katniss exciting games. Katniss also receives from Peta a pearl along with a gold locket engraved with a mockingjay, containing a picture of her mother, her sister Prim, and Gail during the quarter quell and catching fire. She is later seen throughout Mockingjay, keeping the pearl close to her as a prized possession. In Mockingjay, Katniss receives a bow and arrows from BT. They have me mechanical properties and can be voice activated. Katniss on her family has her sister Primrose Everdeen and her mother, Miss Everdeen. Her father died in a mine explosion. Katniss would do anything to protect Prim, even if her even if it means her own death. Mother suffered extreme depression after the death of her husband, Katniss's father, leaving Katniss to become the head of the family, despite her young age. Miss Everdeen is a skilled healer, and Prim is something of an assistant. Cal Hawthorne and his family are like family for her. In Catching Fire, it is revealed that during the Hunger Games, Gail was presented to the capital media as Katniss's co cousin in order to be interviewed about her without detracting from the romance which Katniss and Peta were presenting to survive the arena. After the 74th Hunger Games concluded, President Snow threatens Katniss with Gail's life if she does not perpetuate this lie, and so she does. As part of this sham romance, Peta and Katniss become engaged, and Peta tells a TV interviewer that Katniss is pregnant. It is revealed early in Catching Fire that Gail loves Katniss. Even though her father is dead, she misses him dearly. With the possible exception of Prim, there was no one Katniss loved more than her father. He taught her to hunt, swim, and live off the wild, skills that served her well during the games. Katniss inherits a beautiful singing voice from her father, shown when either of them sing the mocking jays stop to listen. He taught her many songs such as The Hanging Tree and the lullaby Katniss sang to Rue as she died. But after her father's death, singing reminds her too much of her father, so she only does it rarely. When Katniss's mom heard Katniss singing The Hanging Tree, she yelled at him, for teaching her that, and tells Katniss to forget the song. Katniss runs away to the hideout, and of course, because she was told to forget the song, she distinctly, distinctly remembers it. She remembers it a lot, especially after her father's death. Katniss sings The Hanging Tree once to Pollux when he wanted her to sing for the Mocking Jays and a few other times throughout the Book of Mockingjay. Katniss sings the Meadow Song to her two children and many times throughout the series. The rebellion drives Katniss's family apart. Prim's death in a bombing... Um, I'm starting to get into some spoiler alerts. I didn't see all the movies yet. 
Uh, the rebellion drives Katniss's family apart. Prim's death in a bombing devastates Katniss. The trauma leaves her a mental avox, unable to speak until her encounter with Snow after his imprisonment. Her mother leaves District 12 permanently, taking a position in District 4 to build a hospital. Katniss returns home with Hay Mitch, where she finds that Peta also has returned, yet Gail has not. Katniss and Peta rely on each other while recuperating from the war and rebuild their relationship. Several years after the end of the rebellion, Katniss and Peta start a family together. It is assumed they wed. Katniss mentions that Peta wanted to complete their family with kids. Of their children, their first is a girl who has black hair like her mother and blue eyes like her father. The second is a boy with blonde hair like his father and gray eyes like his mother. He is about two years younger than his sister. Their daughter is old enough to understand that Peta and Katniss played a role in the Hunger Games, but their son is too young. Some etymology. The Katniss plant is also known as Arrowhead and belongs to the genus Sagittaria. It is both ornamental and useful. She was also given two other names due to her symbolic role, the Girl on Fire and the Mockingjay. The first was a reference to her spectacular costume during the chariot ride before her first games and her dresses. The second was because of her distinct token, her district token, sorry, and a gold Mockingjay pin, which came to stand for the rebellion. Both names originated from something she wore. And here's some uh, here's some trivia about Katniss Everdeen. Katniss's birthday is May eighth. This is a special day in France for the celebration of Joan of Arc to whom Katniss has been compared. However, Suzanne Collins has not yet indicated whether this was intentional or merely coincidence. In her capital portrait, she is the only one not sitting on her chair. Her favorite color is green, like mine, and her favorite food in the capital is lamb stew with dried plums. Of all the promotional character posters for the Hunger Games, Katniss is the only one facing right. Her name comes from the plant Katniss, which is a plant shaped like an arrow. All the tributes she killed in the games were career tributes. Jennifer Lawrence has described her character as a futuristic Joan of Arc. While promoting every Hunger Games movie to be released thus far, and Donald Sutherland describes her as more dangerous than Joan of Arc. In his initial letter to the film, first film's director regarding the character of Coriolanus Snow, In the film, Katniss weighs 122 pounds and has a 23 in 1 odds of winning the games. The two people in her family closest to her, her father and Prim, both died in explosions. Her decision to volunteer for Prim for the 74th Hunger Games not only saved her from certain death, but saved the country from the oppressive rule of the capital. This stated, 
It is the primary driving event of the whole series. Katniss killed both male tributes from District 1 in her two games after they killed one of her allies. She killed Marvel after he threw the spear into Rue's stomach, and she killed Gloss after he slit Wyrus's throat. Katniss has received burns in all three books. Katniss and Peeta are the only tributes to participate in the games two years in a row. When the training scores are revealed, she and Peeta are the only tributes recognized by their first and last names. In the Hunger Games A through Z, Suzanne Collins compared Katniss to the Greek warrior Theseus. Katniss, like many other former tributes, suffered from PTSD. This was apparent in the movie as she thought she shot Marvel while turkey hunting. She also had MDD, or Major Depressive Disorder, for a period of time after Prim's death. She was District 12's very first volunteer, according to Effie in the first film, while in the book, District 12 hadn't had a volunteer in decades. In the book, Madge gave her the Mockingjay pin, while in the movie, Greasy Say gave it to her. She wore it in her suit for the whole thing, and also when she goes into the other battles, she brings along the pin. Cadmus's father made her first bow and arrow. Alright guys, I hope you liked the, um, some of the, uh, lore, I guess, behind Katniss Everdeen. Uh, I always thought she was a cool character myself. I kind of all think all these Archer characters are cool, that's why I'm doing the series, so. Um, if you liked, uh, Katniss Everdeen, if you liked the video, um, Please hit the uh, the like button, show your support. Um, write down below in the comments, let me know what you think. If uh, it should have been shorter or maybe a longer video, maybe I'll do a part two if some people want. Um, also, um, please feed the llama if you haven't already. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button um, because the, the llama eats subs. So if you can go ahead and help out, if you haven't fed the llama already, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, I will see you on Thursday. Yeah, I don't know what the video is going to be yet, but I will definitely see you on Thursday. All right, bye.